Okay, y'all. <laughs> I'm a mother. of Color Magazine, the digital fashion magazine for black and brown men. And we're at it again with another hair video. I'm coming to y'all with um, another kind of like lifestyle and video. Um, this time doing pigtails, two ponytails. So if you didn't see my last videos, which was 12 easy lock styles and some easy bun styles for your locks, please make sure you go check those out. I will try and put some type of link up here somewhere it'll definitely be down in the description um but i have my hair ties as usual y'all know over here we're only doing styles using hair ties so that they are easy for everybody to do everybody to accomplish you just have to i guess practice and just get into playing with your hair but let's get started with these styles Make sure you give me a comment and let me know what you hope to see. Um, but we're gonna get started. So I have my two hair ties, and I'll leave I'll leave links down below for um, hair ties if you need them. Uh, so I like to just take my hand. I'm not using a comb. I like to take my hand and just kind of part myself down the middle. Don't mind my clip. I'm trying to uh, do some lock maintenance. Okay, this one's a little loose. I think if not, it's okay. We're still gonna double it. And y'all don't mind me if one of these pop, okay? Okay, so there's one. Yeah, this one definitely needs to be doubled too. Um, you can go right here. I'm going to use my hands like a comb and just make sure everything is nice and laying with one delay. See like this right here. And there you go. Style number one for pigtails is just some regular, regular pigtails. Style number two, inspired by my girl Tesha. I saw her do her hair like this. So I already have my pigtails in. I am going to, again, give my hair a good stream to and comb. And also I want to warn you guys, do not be surprised if you see like, I don't know, like one of my ends come out and I just kind of toss it. If you had locks for a while, you already know. So I'm gonna uh push up like this. And I'm gonna bring, and I'm gonna do it one more time. I want that effect. Right, so. Like a little puffy kind of. And I'm pulling mine out a little. And then one more at the end. And the same on this side. So we're just gonna puff it up just like that. I'm gonna take one of my hair ties. I'm gonna fluff it out, you know, give it a little volume. And then one more for this side. I wanna tell y'all the bottoms look a lot better than the top, this is a loose hair tie. I've had this one for a while, so forgive me why I double and triple this one. Hmm. What's going on with y'all? I hope everybody has been well as we are in what, like year two of the pandemic. But 2021 should be promising for a lot of us. Now, you see what I'm talking about? You see how that's just a different kind of. Different kind of look, you feel me? <laughs> But that's like style number two. And I know somebody's thinking like, well, you really didn't do nothing. Nah, that's not really a style. Look, 
especially as a guy, especially when you just like have these locks, you gotta get creative, okay? So now that those are out, let me get into style number three. Now again, I'm gonna keep my pigtails in and we're gonna start with like a barrel twist. So I'm gonna take one lock. Now, um, I think that if you, you can still do this with one, I'm a little different though because mine's are one up top, but like this one right here, um, if you don't know, I have freeform locks. And so, as you can see, my manicured locks of the past are down here, but all my freeformness is all of this nice thick root up here. the hair around and since I have my manicure locks at the ends of my um, freeform locks I'm gonna try and spread them out and wrap them you see what I'm talking about so they look like barrels and when I get to the end I am going to hold this I'm gonna take one more and again I'm just gonna bring it around Let's see what I'm doing. This one, oh, no, I can just wrap this around at the top to fix it. But I'm gonna start tucking the hair in at the bottom. Now you can use rubber bands or something to hold yours in place. I'm just not for right now for the sake of the video but it is actually you know what let's do it let's freaking do it I'm gonna take a band like such and I'm just gonna apply it right at the bottom of my barrel um now you can do this barrel style all the way down all the way down to the tip of your lock so we may do that today you know I'm, I'm feeling kind of Trying to make sure that my ropes are tight, that we spin it all the way around. Here's one. The one I just did was a full braid I never took out. And so that ended early with this one right here, baby. This one has what I was looking for, which is the free form at the top with the um, manicured rocks at the bottom. And again, I'm just gonna use a band just to hold everything in place. I like that a lot. Um, you can see it. Sometimes what I would do is I would take something like this. So I see my band right here, right? I'm gonna try and get my band nice and easy. I would try and take a lock and just kind of hide some of the band. You know, I'm not that I'm like a stickler or anything for the band showing, but this one is not so bad. Uh, but I love this. And like I said, you can go all the way down. Let's go all the way down. Y'all wanna go all the way down? And just kind of get our twist done. pigtail style um i love just kind of the stiffness up here and that the hair kind of still moves which you'll see um with the next style is not so much like that and i like how it's a lot easier to kind of put this to the back it's still stiff um we'll explain it again in the next style but um if you want your hair to kind of sit back you have to braid it or barrel it back if you want it to sit up here you have to barrel it up front because uh they get kind of stiff but this is a lot easier to move it has a lot more um lax it's a lot more lax than what's next so let's get started with the next style i'm going to take my barrels out and as you can see how easy it is to just kind of and i'm not using rubber bands on uh, I didn't use rubber bands at the end when I extended them. I just tucked the hair Be careful again. I always tell you be careful when you decide to tuck your hair 
at the ends because it makes the ends weak and they will break off. Um, eventually they will break off. Uh, now it depends on how you feel about that. It doesn't really bother me so much because I'm used to it. I've had my locks for a very long time now. So, you know me. Unraveling our barrels. We are going to keep our pigtails in steel. Um, okay. Right, so let's comb it on through. Again, don't mind my little... We got freeform locks. There's be stuff everywhere that should be trying to maintenance. But I love my hair like this now. Okay, so let's just do a quick braid. You know, pigtails to the braid. Actually, let's see if we can braid. Let's braid to the back. Um, just so I can show you guys. So like I said with the other video, wherever you, wherever you want your hair to lay with locks, you really have to do your hair in that direction. So I am braiding to the back because I want my hair to kind of sit to the back. And I'm not gonna braid it all the way down. I'm just gonna braid it. Okay, and let's just do this one. Again, I'm gonna braid it to the back. And you can braid it all the way down to the tips and get you a little rubber band or whatever to uh, secure it. Or you can do it halfway like me. Oh, that's an ugly braid. <laughs> uh, you can make it right though. No, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it. Let's do it right real quick, right? There you go. That's, that's what I'm looking for, that definition. Drop my band. Pigtails, braid it. And you can braid them all the way down, which would be another style, a different look. Um, now, as you can see, right, because I braided this one to the back, this one sits back a lot better than this one that was braided with my hair being pulled to the front. So you just gotta think about where you want your hair. Actually, this one lays really good up in the front and in the back. Unlike this one where you can see, it's just not laying good in the back. It's definitely like trying to shoulder pop his way up to the front. <laughs> my hair so that it's still just hanging out now still parted and we're gonna do barrel twist from the root so I grabbed just a bunch of my locks and I'm just gonna take them and spin them around in that same the same fashion. Hold on, let's just, let's start over. I have two at the base, two of my locks at the base. Um, now, if you, let's say you have manicure locks, right? Because a lot of you guys that are looking at this aren't free forms. You guys are manicured. You would just take one or two locks and you will start doing this process. I like that because I have, this is all braid. That's all 
out the ray right there. Let's do this one on this side. Again, I'm trying to see if I can get it all braid, just so it kind of evens up, but it really doesn't matter to me. And like I said, if you have manicure locks, you're really gonna look the same throughout anyways. Nice and tight. Tuck my ends in at the top. And I have pink tails with no rubber bands. No rubber bands on my hair, just my hair. And I could put on a rubber band on top or down at the bottom to support it. But if I'm going out to run errands real quick, this will probably hold for two hours, three hours. I can move my hair. I can toss my hair around. As you can see, oh, my barrels are just fine. And actually, let's just, let's just, let's combine styles because I can braid from here. What, are you kidding me? And see, I'm gonna braid all the way down to the bottom. I'm like, oh, let me use one of my old bands that are already stretched and worn out. That's, that's about as tight. <laughs> okay, y'all. <laughs> I'm about to. Can't be cussing on here. I'm trying to get monetized. Cannot be cussing on here. Braid it all the way down. I have my barrels up top that. Now, if I do something like this going out, I'm gonna braid it and do something extra with the hair at the bottom. I would definitely support the top with a rubber band um, so that it can stay. Like I saw it loosening, you saw me lean in. So I went, I'm going back in just to tuck it again. Yeah, come on now, I know y'all see it. So you can try all of these styles with your locks and they all give a different look and you can barrel halfway down and then braid the rest. Um, you can braid at the top and barrel at the bottom. Um, Cause the braids as you pull can be just as tight as the barrels as you wrap around. And so you can kind of com uh, combinate. <laughs> you can combine both styles into your hairstyle. Before I give it to you, make sure you give me a like, make sure you give me a comment, let me know what styles you love, and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with all of my hair videos and all the rest of the content that I plan to just kind of throw at this YouTube and see what sticks. So for my last pigtail style though, and again, I'm going to leave links so you can buy your own rubber bands down below. I am going to take my hair, hold it really tight at the base, I'm going to bring the ends up. And I love, I, I really like, I can't wait to, when it's done, so I can really kind of tell y'all how I feel about it. I can see the full effect, right? But it really gives me like elephant ear vibes. Okay, I think all my hair is through, let me see. Yep, all my hair is through for the most part. Again, tight at the base. Comb your hair out, I'm using my hands to make sure that everything is nice and straight. I'm going down to the ends. Some are gonna hang, that's okay, because your locks are gonna be different lengths. They're not always gonna catch. And again, we're just gonna take a band. I'm gonna double it so that it stays nice and secure. Um, something like this, you gotta make sure that the bands are nice. My camera cut off. <laughs> but um, as you can see, held the base. Walk the ends up uh, to the base, put a rubber band around it. And I love this because this gives me elephant ear vibes. It also gives me the kind of vibes that ladies have when they have big voluminous hair. But like, are you? Like this is something that I would do for fashion week. Like this is definitely right up my alley. 
I love, love, love this kind of. And like I said, you just want to make sure that the bands are tight. I don't mind the hair kind of coming out a little bit. I mean, that's natural. It's what my shirt say is not for everyone. I put a link down to this below too. It's from a brand called Recreate. And I got it off of Ukes on sale. So I'll put some similar styles below if you guys are interested in my sweatshirt. They have some really dope ones. I have a couple of sweatshirts in my closet um, from them. But these are my quick and easy pigtail styles from your boy Nigel Isaiah. Make sure you give me a follow at colormagazine.com. I'll leave the um, the links to my Instagrams below. Make sure you follow me on my personal at Nigel underscore Isaiah. Let me know if you found me on here from YouTube, if you do follow me. And until next time.